So we want to talk about uh, Stargirl, right? Yes. Yes. Okay. So um, that's going to be on the CW on the 19th. Um, but I want to know, you play Yolanda Montez. Montez. Yes, Montez. Wildcat. I watched, I watched the first episode. Love the first oh, episode. Did? Really great. But um, you kind of, spoiler, we're going to talk about some spoilers if that's okay. Um, but you barely have a cameo in the first episode, right? Right, right. Uh, my character is slowly but surely being established. Uh, you don't really see me come to fruition until the fourth episode fourth episode okay yeah so um i'm looking on your instagram page and there's a cop uh artist rendition of your costume so is that going to be around the fourth episode when we get to see that is that when you start or is it going to be more of a season finale type of thing no 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 it's fourth episode and it's great too the way they the way everything happens when i put on the cowl and everything it's it's majestic mm -hmm. to say the so least the, the uh, original wildcat from the jsa is uh, ted grant I, is your godfather in the show is that right okay uh, so he's not my godfather in the show okay he is the godfather in the comic book but in the show he's a very famous and prestigious boxer and my family we all we all watch boxing so he's a big inspiration for me um but no no he's not my godfather godfather he's he's it changed a little bit from the comic and i also wasn't an experiment from dr love um my in the comic yeah in the comic dr love does an experiment on my mom which makes me be born with cat like superpowers and mm -hmm. and that's changed as well in the com in the series in the series courtney finds a group to join her in the justice society and i'm one of those people because i am a natural boxer and that's one of my um strengths so she sees me as a great asset and um is that it you're just boxing you and uh, i assume you're uh one of the skilled boxers if, if you're inspired if not trained by ted um, do you have any powers that you can talk about or they can share with us? Yeah, so I have uh, cat-like abilities. I can jump um, on, I can jump really high. My claws, they they can break through pretty much anything. I can, I can crawl up buildings. I, I have everything that a superhero cat would have, basically. Uh, uh, and, uh, so your claws retract like Wolverine or are they just kind of stick out a little ways? Kind of like, like Wolverine, but instead of, um, my knuckles, it's from my fingers. So they oh. go like this. And then when I do this, they all come out. <laughs> I dig it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. What about, um, so that's backtrack and you know seem to know a little bit about the original source material about the original wildcat how big of a fan were you before you got cast in this role i had to do my research honestly my brother i keep saying this but my brother was a dc uh comic fan and growing up i saw that he would collect all the comic books but i wasn't really familiar in, unless it was really mainstream so when i got the audition i had to they didn't tell us they didn't tell me what I was auditioning for. I kind of figured it out with the dummy sides. Um, and when I had that Skype call with Jeff, he, he was like, yeah, you're Wildcat. Good guess. And I'm like, yeah. So <laughs> I had to do my research. I had to do a lot of digging. And how much um, has that stuck with you at all? Have you, has that turned you into a bigger fan? Or, um, yeah. Oh, my gosh. I bought, I bought um, all these comics. Well, of I bought these comics of like where my character is in, but yeah, I love I love it all the comic series. I need I think I need to dive a little deeper with everything um, with other characters. But of course, I'm like a huge fan of my character now because she's just like awesome, and I'm just so thankful that Jeff is um, Jeff Johns is bringing her to a greater light. And I don't think I think she was only on TV once, right? The character Yolanda Montez mm -hmm. once a long time ago, but I'm back. Woo! Uh, yeah, just as kind of a, a Easter egg, I guess. Is that a is that a big uh, Wildcat poster behind you? 
Um, yeah. Very nice. My dad, actually, my dad, um, my dad gave this to me for Christmas. There I am in the corner. Do you see that? And then, uh huh. That's me with Breck, our man, and me. Wow, that's amazing. That's really cool. I think you're the only person who asked that. Oh, wait, actually, you're the only Skype call I had. So, yeah. Oh, happy to be the first at something. <laughs> um, yeah, everything's just been phone interviews lately. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, I mean, like, um, so you're used to going to red carpet events and premieres and that type of things for all your, like, for you were recently in the Rocky Last Blood movie. So yeah. I imagine the amount of um, interviews and press, like live in person. I'm I'm wondering how, um, like, since the quarantine, we're all we just mentioned doing everything from Skype. How is that for you? Is that any different for you? Is it a different approach to how you? Uh, is it a different approach to the interviews or at all? Yeah, it's a little more relaxed, I would say, because I'm just like in the comfort of my own home. I'm sitting on my bed, just able to call and answer the calls but yeah I feel like I was a little more nervous when it was in person because they have all these blinding lights on the carpet and sometimes I just freeze up even if it's a simple question I'll mm -hmm. like freeze up and think it's the hardest thing in the world and then afterward I'm like why did I do that why did I freeze up but it's all with time I mean since I did the press with the Rambo movie I I'm a lot more relaxed now and it's easier to do these things it's just with like the more you do it the easier it gets kind of thing Mm -hmm. um, so can I ask you, uh, I'd like to talk a little bit about that Rambo movie, if we could. Sure. I, um, I was watching that last night, and um, you're great in it, uh, oh, but okay. do you have any stories about working with Hollywood legend Sylvester Stallone on or off the set? Yeah, um, he was... He was great. It was really awesome to see him on set and just have so much... Um, passion still like he really really cares about how the movie turns out about how it looks and everything you just hear these conversations um with him and how he expresses his love for the art and everything and yeah I mean he gave me a lot of tips and and he it was just it was art especially our scenes they were we were just like really present in the moment I think I feel like that's what I learned um from being on set it was not learned but it was kind of like a reminder of like just being present and going off of like how he's acting and it, it was a little stressful too it was a little it was a little intimidating at first but sure. they want you to succeed you know they want you to do the best you can so oh whoops sorry I was getting another call uh that's that um, I told they want you to do the best you can sorry Oh, I was, I'm sorry to interrupt. Did you, did you film everything? Uh, was that filmed in uh, Mexico or that, that didn't seem like it was uh, shot locally? You know? So it looked like it was filmed in Mexico, right? That was the, that was the, um, that's what we were striving for. But no, it was shot in Bulgaria and that's in Spain. And then we shot the last month and a half in the Canary Islands. So that was really nice. Um, Bulgaria, I didn't really get to explore much, but the Canary Islands, I had my brother and my, my best friend come out and visit me, and I had a little extra time there uh, to explore. So it was a really beautiful island. I didn't even know it existed. So that was just like the time of my life. It was, a it was actually the first film where I didn't shoot in L.A., which was awesome. Um, is that also one of the selling points of aside from maybe working with Sylvester Stallone is the location. Yeah. When I found out that it was going to be shot in Spain, I was like, wow, what a dream that would be. That would be the day. But then it happened. And I was like, Oh my God, I need to get my passport ready. Ah, like panic mode. But it was so, it was so fun. Honestly, I would do it again in a heartbeat. <laughs> sure. Um, <laughs> what a, you're, you're, you've, um, pretty well known you got a bit of a career over on uh, Robert Rodriguez channel El Rey um, yeah do you have, wait, can you talk about that a little bit um sure you have, go ahead that was that was a great experience that was the first show that I oh my gosh I'm sorry that was the first show that I had ever booked so um show that I had ever booked and my dad played Alfred Molina 
my dad played off my dad was played by Alfred Molina and it was like the first show where I was actually where it actually felt like oh my gosh I'm an actress now this is crazy um but it was it was everything was shot like a movie everything was was oh man it was so long ago too I think I I shot that back in 2014 or 13 um but yeah we we did a first season we were supposed to do two seasons and then we got canceled uh but it was the time that I had spent there I made lifelong friends and it was a great experience is there anything you want to know in particular uh well I was mostly going to ask if you have anything else coming up uh that we can look forward to on that channel oh okay Oh, well, right now I am tied to the show, but so I have very few uh, projects that I can explore, but I am exploring some projects right now. Um, but until that, until it's actually secured, uh, I'm just being quarantined. I'm just hanging out. Very nice. Uh, so uh, for me, I, like I said, I've seen it. I really love the way they introduce Stripesy. I'm sure you're going to get an equally um, impressive introduction in the show as well. I can't wait to see that. Um, I do have uh, one final question for you before I let you go. Thanks again um, for uh, all your time. I really appreciate it. But my um, love for superheroes uh, kind of surrounds me getting up early on a Saturday morning before my parents, uh, grabbing a big bowl of cereal and getting my spot on the couch and watching cartoons early in the morning. That's so, the best. Uh, yeah. So Yvette, if you could tell me what is your favorite Saturday morning cereal? My favorite Saturday morning cereal is chocolate rice krispies with almond milk. It's oh, the best. Yeah, that sounds the really the best. Good. Yeah, uh, that's the secret to uh, looking so young and and looking so uh, vital on screen, right? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Thank you. Uh, I love it. Oh, thank you. Um, so I've got uh, Star Girl coming out the May, the nineteenth of May, mm -hmm. uh, and I'll be on the on CW. It'll be on the twentieth on uh, DC Universe, and that'll be every week. It's going to be uh, shown on CW the night before, and then it'll premiere on the DC Universe, a longer cut. Yeah, so uh, DC Universe is May 18th, and then CW is the 19th. Oh, I'm sorry, I had that messed up. So the 18th okay. and the 19th for the premiere. Uh, is there anything else I can plug for you? Anything else um, I can mention? Mm, I would just say that this, uh, this show is for everyone. I mean, very family-oriented. I feel like it... it transcribes to kids and adults so i feel like it's and it's and it's a very special special series to all of us you know there's a lot of heart behind it and we all we all worked so hard to do our best so i hope everyone really likes it well uh i know i did i love the premiere and i'm sure everybody will um thanks for your time i'll let you go get back to being quarantined and uh we'll talk to you soon Okay, thank Thanks. you so much for your time. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care.